Well then, uh, that was pretty unexpected considering what we watched at the weekend against Brighton. Newcastle 7, Morecambe 0 in the third round of the Carabao Cup. Um, I was hoping we were going to win. I didn't think we'd quite get seven goals though. Um, really happy, even Joe Linton got two. He's finally found his shooting boots in the back of the wardrobe. Um, wouldn't be surprised we get a bit of stick for celebrating because we were the favourite going into it. We are the Premier League team. They are the League Two team. But uh, Newcastle don't like to make things easy for ourselves. And you think about the games last year against Rochdale, against Oxford, you know, we'll try and make it difficult. I just wanted to see a solid, professional performance tonight. Uh, and we got it. Plus a few more goals. So, yeah, great to see. Um, great to see um, players like Murphy getting a goal uh, and, and having a, a, a cracking game. I would potentially even say he was my man of the match for the game. If you watched it, let me know who you thought. I mean, Joe Linton got two goals. Uh, but I thought it was a strong side. Uh, Lascelles was in. Hayden was in. Um, I think Lascelles had a, an absolute nightmare against Brighton. I know no one played well, but I thought Lascelles was particularly poor against Brighton. I think this game may well have done him good. He got more game time and he even got himself a goal as well. So hopefully that might get his confidence levels up a little bit as well. Um, and I did laugh when I saw the bench because we had Wilson, Carroll, Fraser on the bench. Brucey clearly did not want to leave things to chance in this one. If it wasn't going well um, in the game, he had uh, players like Wilson who were no can score, can get on the pitch and, and help out. But we didn't need them. Um, Joe Linton, as I say, did himself proud tonight. He got himself a couple of goals. I do think it helped that our first goal came in on the fifth minute, an early goal from Joe Linton, because, again, with the games I mentioned like this, you know, the longer it goes on, the the, the, the nerves start to settle in. Uh, so the fact that we got that early goal, I think, made a big difference. Um, Almiron grabbed himself a goal on the 20th minute. Um... Just before then, or just after then, I remember Gillespie made a fantastic save. Um, I thought Gillespie looked good. I think, I know Gillespie kind of came in as the third choice goalkeeper, but I definitely think he's staking a claim for that second uh, that second um, place goalie. I think Dolo may potentially be, be, be a better shot stopper, but I just think that Gillespie almost owns the area a lot better than Dolo does, but... You know, who knows? Um, Murphy got the third goal on the 27th minute. Fantastic run, fantastic finish from him. As I say, you know, we don't know because Murphy's gone out and done his loans and he's been fantastic there. Is he quite ready for the Prem? Will he be ready for the Prem? Who knows? But when he's putting performances in like tonight, I think we do have to give him a shot at some point. Um, and then Joe Linton um, gets an absolute screamer uh, not long before um, the 30-minute mark or on the 30-minute mark. Uh, and then Morecambe get a red card shortly after that. So 4-0 up, Morecambe on a red card. Um, it was pretty much it was won at that point, I think. Um, Hayden comes out and grabs himself a goal from outside the box just before half-time. Going 5-0 at half-time. Captain Lascelles gets himself a goal on the 80-minute mark. Um, and then Richie slash own goal right at the end of the game. But just before that, um, Carroll missed an absolute sitter. Uh, so <laughs> Carroll still hasn't got his goal for us. Uh, and clearly he didn't want it by the way he tried to, to finish the header at the back post. Um, maybe he's waiting for all the fans back in St. James's Park before he gets his first goal. Who knows? Because, as I say, it was um, an absolute sitter. And it's a goal you'd expect Carroll to score. So, yeah. If it was nil-nil, I would have been a lot more angry uh, than I am, to be honest. But, um, yeah, I bet he's very good he didn't score that. So, as I say, 7-0. Professional performance. You know, we had the ball... Um, Obviously, we let off a little bit in the second half, but we were always pressing, we're always trying to try and grab another goal. Um, and it was it was going to be tough for Morecambe tonight. And you know, they de they definitely gave it a good goal, but I just think once the red card came in, it was going to be really tough for them. Um, and obviously, I do wish them the best of luck this year in the league. But uh, we are now through to the fourth round 
and we've got a very decent draw taken on another League 2 side away from home against Newport. Um, bear in mind, they just thrashed Watford in their last round, uh, so, you know, let's not take anything for granted here. But, in terms of the teams that are in the competition at this point, I think it's a very decent draw, and if we could potentially, and I'm not going to jinx it just yet, get past Newport, we will be in the quarterfinals. So, as I say, Newcastle don't do cups, but maybe this could be the year we... Well, we got to a quarterfinal last year in the FA Cup. Maybe we could just about manage it this year, and who knows from there. Um, but yeah, let me know what you thought of the game down below if you um, did watch it. Obviously, it is Spurs at the weekend, and again... Uh, no disrespect to Morecambe, but it is a it's a completely different kettle of fish. Uh, I just hope to God that we well we got the reaction out of the players after being useless against Brighton, playing well tonight. You know, I'm hoping that's not a recurring pattern. I'm hoping they realise we need to work as hard, if not harder, again this weekend you know don't just rest on the fact oh we played well last time so i'm sure we'll do it again because that did not work in the brighton game um i think we will have fraser back in wilson back in i'm not 100 percent sure on saint max's fitness so again let me know down below if saint max isn't fit who is it is it almiron is it joe linton coming in from the left he's going to be full of confidence now after a day's game or potentially murphy or richie you know, we've got plenty of options. None of them are quite as good as St. Max, but uh, at least we've got some cover there. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching. As always, guys, drop a like on the video for the Newcastle win and be sure to subscribe if you are new. I am posting my full Premier League predictions video tomorrow night for all of the games this weekend. So be sure to look out for that as well. Uh, yeah, feeling much happier tonight than I was on Saturday. Big up the tune. Thank you for watching. And I'll catch you later.